All right, how we doing? Great. All right. You know that uh, Terribio did not practice yesterday, Bailey did not practice, and Kendrick Lewis did not practice. Um, Javon Belcher did not practice. Uh, Javon should be limited today, and he will see uh, how he feels, what he can do. Uh, Derek Johnson is limited, uh, Brown is limited, and Flowers is limited. And otherwise, I think the guys are excited about the game getting closer, uh, and they know that it's a couple of days away, and so uh, final preparations are being made today uh, to play the game. And so we're going to go up to Arrowhead and practice up there today, and then uh, we'll wrap it up tomorrow, and then Sunday we play. So that's where we are. Questions? Of all teams, maybe not to have Belcher available or at full speed, is Atlanta maybe a team? Because they play, they play almost all three wide, tight end, no for well, you know, is that, is that team you're being the sub maybe more than normal? Well, there's a possibility depending on what personnel group that they use. Now, they have multiple personnel groups. Um, they have uh, 21, what we call 21 personnel. They have 12 personnel. They have 11 personnel. Uh, they have 01. They have 02. Uh, so, depends on which ones they want to put out there, too, you know. And so, that's how we will look at it. And But we can play. 34 defense versus everything. We can play nickel versus everything. Uh, but, you know, generally you choose to play your nickel versus multiple wide receivers. Everybody talks about their passing. Is their run game kind of sneaky? You look at their splits, for instance, on the road last year. Their wins, they averaged 120-some yards rushing, and their losses is around 40-something yards rushing. Well, that's the thing. You got to be able to run the ball in the NFL, and if you can run the ball, you increase your odds of winning. Roman, do you believe football teams have a personality? Sure. How do they get that personality? Uh, some of it is natural and inherent. Uh, some of it comes from leadership, uh, you know, but, you know, some guys are the way they are because it's in their genes, you know. Uh, other guys learn to be who they are uh, as they grow up and uh, the guys they emulate, you know, and things like that. If you, uh, you're Dr. Frankenstein and you're in your laboratory and you wanted to create the personality for a Romeo Cornell team, what would it be? Physical, aggressive, tough, smart, hard playing. Romeo, are you going to go up there every Friday at the practice or just before home games? Uh, just before home games. So you like, you like that idea the last couple of years? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it gives them an opportunity to, to get a feel, not that they don't have a feel for the stadium, but we practice that here all the time. So they have a great feel for that, and they only play at the stadium. So I, I think going up there and letting them run around on the field that they're going to play on is not a bad thing. Physical, aggressive, tough, smart, hard playing. How close is the 2012 Chiefs to that? We're going to find out. You know, that's why we're going to play the games, and we'll find out. I'd like to bring up the source subject. Source subject? Okay, go ahead, Randy. <laughs> but you're still looking for your first opening day win. Yes, I sure am. How special would it be to, to get this one this year? Oh, it would be great. I mean, you know, as, as a head coach, you always want to get off to a good start. And if you win the first one, uh, that's a pretty good start, you know. And so that would be, uh, it would be a, a good shot in the arm for all of us. Any, besides the four in Cleveland, any other those fond opening day memories you've got? Do you remember a particular opening day that stands out in your mind? Yeah, a couple of years ago as the defensive coordinator, it seems like that uh, we beat a pretty good team that came in here. And, uh, Monday night. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know, so uh, that's a fond memory. Your shirt says together is powerful. I haven't seen you wear this. We haven't paid attention as much. Who came up with that? Oh, I think that's a phrase that's been around uh, this year particularly uh, in the organization been talking about together is powerful. And I talk to the team all the time about uh, being a team, playing together, helping each other. And so uh, um, this phrase just falls into line with that. 